So I won't go for long, boys. I just thought I'd give a, a little bit of knowledge on Pakistan, my, my birthplace, where I came from, and I thought, what better way to do it than to get big brother and little brother to have a quiz off against each other. <laughs> See how they go. I think the most important thing about knowing Uzi and with his upbringing is you have to understand his culture and his background and his beliefs. What year was Pakistan founded? A, 1942, B, 1947, C, 1949? B. Which year was that? 1947? <laughs> Correct. Pakistan initially was, as you can see there, British India. 17 million people migrated in 1947 um, to form Pakistan, which is to this day the biggest migration in known human history. To be reconnecting with home, with family, was obviously a very special time for him. Who am I? Look, one, of, <laughs> <laughs> one of Pakistan's greatest cricketers. I graduated from university at 21 and became a professional cricketer as well. I debuted in Test cricket in 2000s and regarded as the swaggiest cricketer in world cricket. <laughs> I grew up in Western Sydney and now I'm not. That's correct. There's no relevance to that. I just want to put myself in. It's been 24 years since we've come to Pakistan and I think it's pretty special. Not only for the people that are going to be watching you guys, but for you guys being involved in this tour. It's a truly special moment for a lot of Pakistani cricketers, Lolly. Obviously, it's a truly special moment for me. I reckon you guys look back on your career and think, I'm glad I did that and how cool was that. So I hope you enjoy it and thanks for listening. No my childhood, I'd get more memories of being at home with my mother. I'm so happy when Uzi like my food. That's my blessing for I cook and my children and me together to sit down and have a dinner. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good chicken. No, it's good. Good. That's very good. I hate watching cricket with my family. I don't think I haven't watched that many games with your mum and dad. <laughs> I used to tell everyone that I was going to play for Australia when I was like <laughs> eight years old. I used to hate it. No, even my son is a very good player. He's going to play for Australia one day. And I was like, Dad, seriously. Because even at that time when he was playing the rap games, under 10s, under 11s, the whole team used to rely on him. He used to make the runs all the time, and if he gets out, the team gets out. People used to say, a Pakistani boy will never be able to make the Australian team. And I said, let's see. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs>